morning. Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Thursday, November 21st, 2013. If you're listening to this on the radio and want to watch it, please go to www.cadex.com. Tomorrow, of course, is November 22nd, 2013, uh, which is the 50th anniversary of the assassination of President Kennedy in Dallas. That was also on a Friday. We'll talk a little bit more about that uh, tomorrow morning. There was a big fire in the Bronx yesterday in New York City. A dozen firefighters suffered injuries at a fire at the Hunts Point Market. Hunts Point Market is the world's largest wholesale produce market. It provides food to the thousands of restaurants in the city as well as stores. About 200 firefighters responded to the four alarm fire. Fortunately, it was in a small area uh, controlled by one vendor that generated quite intense heat. Meanwhile, economically, there was news today that China's manufacturing growth is easing, partly due to a decline in export orders. Uh, the so-called flash version of the uh, Purchasing Managers Index from China slipped to 50.4 compared to last month's reading of 51. One of the uh, concerns, of course, is that wages in China are now increasing uh, at a high rate, making their exports less competitive than they once were. Two big groups of retailers, one dominated by European brands and the other by American brands, announced yesterday that they had agreed on joint inspection standards for thousands of garment factories in Bangladesh as part of a joint effort to improve the workplace safety there. Of course, there have been a number of very, very fatal fires in garment factories in Bangladesh. The uh, most horrific one saw 1,200 people killed. The new standard uh, brings up-to-date engineering and safety standards and requires um, sprinkler installation as well as a limited number of stories of each building unless there are proper exit routes. Meanwhile, we have yet another uh, opinion coming from a uh, consulting company about um, rates for U.S. cat rates that might be coming up uh, for renewal this January. The consulting firm Peel Hunt said that uh, rates for cat reinsurance business, even not affected by losses, could fall by double digits at the January 1st renewal. The report said the prospects for non-life underwriters are good, despite the fact that catastrophe reinsurance rates will continue to fall. I'm not quite sure what uh, they think about the good prospects and what they are. Uh, and in case you're wondering, and we're in England, a number of people have been asking us this, yes, it's true. In uh, March, the United States government could once again start missing payments on its obligations. This is if lawmakers fail to raise the legal limit on borrowing by early February. The Obama administration uh, uh, last month was able to bump up against the government's debt ceiling for five months before it came to the brink of default. This time, they may not be so lucky. Uh, the agreement has to be reached by February 7th. Uh, Germany came out with some interesting news. Apparently, they're quite concerned about the effect of low interest rates on insurers. They said that they will come to the aid of insurers battling the consequences of record low interest rates. Insurers and regulators have identified rock bottom yields as the biggest problem for insurers because they choke off insurers' investment income while simultaneously raising the cost of future guarantees to policyholders. Germany has already ordered insurers to cut the interest rates they can offer on new savings policies and also force them to build up reserves to cover the yawning gap between low interest rates and those future liabilities. So keep in mind what's going on here. The government is telling the insurers that they are regulating their business to the point of telling them the interest rates they can offer on annuities, saving them from themselves. And uh, this morning in southern Ohio, centered around the town of Athens, uh, where I believe the University of Ohio is, there was a 3.5 magnitude earthquake. Very unusual for that area of the world. A little bit of rattling and rolling and shaking, but fortunately there was no harm or damage done. As the news here today from London, we'll be reporting tomorrow again from New Jersey. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you then.